Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick video showing how I determine what temperature I print with a brand new filament. Uh, you buy a brand new roll of filament and a lot of times you'll find where it has a temperature setting of between 175 and 250 C. Well that's a pretty big span. <laughs> so I'm going to go over how I determine, you know, just a preliminary setup on what temperature to start with and then you can always tweak it from there. So I'm going to do that, show you that, and I'll also show you how I change out the filament on my extruder. This is the MK8. Uh, you find it on all, almost all the GTEC machines and several other machines as well. So I'll show you that here in just a moment. Okay, so let's pretend for one moment that I've got a different filament in here and I need to exchange it out. So what I always do is I preheat the machine. On the Meat Creator 2, it preheats at 180 automatically uh, whenever you set it to do a preheat. So I'm just going to go ahead and start out with the 180 on, in this situation. It works perfectly fine for this particular filament anyway. Um, if you have a filament that needs to heat up to a higher temperature, of course be sure to heat it up to the higher temperature and start from there. But in this case I know 180 is going to be fine. So what we'll do on the MK8 is we press down on this lever here. You want to extrude some material and then pull it out quickly. That clears out the nozzle. Let me see if I can get a close-up of this. probably can't. Nope. Anyway, as you can see, there's a little bit of a tip on this. That's where it pulled out of the nozzle. So if there was any debris in the nozzle, it's been cleared out by doing that. Now let's say that I'm going to take and I'm going to put, in this case, the wood fill back into it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten out the film at the best I can. Try to get as much curl out off of it as you can. If it's curled at the tip, it's going to be a nightmare getting it stabbed in. You want to cut at a 45 degree angle, or sharper, it doesn't matter, as long as it's got where it looks like a chisel tip, as long as it's got that taper to it. That way, in case when you pulled out the filament before, if there's a little line of it that came up through the nozzle throat, sometimes it'll cause it, cause it where you can't get it in there. So by cutting it at an angle like that, it makes it a lot easier to guide it into that tube. And of course you want to just keep working it, make sure that you've got the curl so that it's, it's completely straight or as straight as you can get it. And then what you'll do is you will depress this lever here, start to press it in, and if you got it straight, a lot of times the first stab will get it in. If you feel it go down part way and it's jamming up, just pull the filament back out, double check it, make sure it's straight because if the tip of it is still has that little bit of a curl, it'll never go into the hole very easily. So what you're going to want to do is to continue extruding as much of the plastic as it takes in order to clear out wherever the previous color was. In the case of me, the other day I was printing with blue Hatchbox PLA, and so I had to keep extruding it until finally the, the final color was the color of the, the wood fill. If you still have a little streak of blue in there or whatever color, just keep on extruding. Manually extruding, just press that lever down and just keep gently pushing it through until you see this coming out the proper color. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to go about doing a temperature setting. Okay, so when you're looking at the extruder nozzle, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and extrude some plastic, and then wait a moment and see how much it oozes out. Now see right now I'm at 180. Of course now I've got a little line here that's holding everything up. Let's go ahead and pull that out, and let's go ahead and extrude a little bit more. Okay, it's oozing a little bit, but actually it's not oozing too bad. You can see there it's it's oozing now that it actually touched the bill plate and it's moving off to the side. So that's at 180. So what I would actually do is I would actually turn this down. So the way I would do that on the Me Creator 2, and I believe most machines are like this, you press the button, move down to where it says Control, Temperature, Nozzle. In this case, I'm going to turn it down to 175, and you do, when you select the button, poke it, it'll go right back to that, and that way you know it's selected the temperature. And then we can go back to the info screen, and then it'll slowly drop back down to 175. Once it's back down to 175, we'll look back up there at the nozzle, and we'll see how much it oozes out at that point. Okay, so we're back up here at the nozzle, and we're going to go ahead and poke a little bit out. And then we're just going to let set for a moment. 
Now I can tell it's not oozing out near as bad. In fact, I'll take it down until it's touching the build plate so you can see how it's moving off to the side. See how it's moving a little bit, but nothing like it was. So more than likely at that point, I can take and set it at 175, I'd be just fine. I might have a little bit of uh, where you have, it almost looks like spider webs between two points as it's moving back and forth. It might have a little bit. So technically I could probably even bump this down to maybe 172 and probably stop it almost all together. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it here off camera. Go back to prepare. Oh, sorry about that. To control. Temperature. Nozzle. We're going to knock that down. Let's try 170 and just see what it looks like. Okay, so we're back over to 170. Now I'm going to go ahead and extrude some plastic and let it set for a moment. Now as you can see, it's not it's not oozing near as badly. Let's take some of the slack out, get back on the bill plate or something here. So you can see the see it ooze out. See it's still oozing a little bit. And the thing is you'll never stop the oozing completely. It'll always ooze. Uh, the only time it'll ooze it quit oozing is when you have the temperature so cold that it's really not going to extrude properly. So even a 170, I think I would be safe printing with this, but I would rather go with a little bit hotter temperature a lot of times for the first print, just to see how it is. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up. I'm going to start doing a print. I'm not going to show it all the way through. I'll put a link to the that video in the video description for the model I'm going to print. Okay, so you can see that the model has completed. Let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look at what I was talking about as far as the stringing that can happen. As you can see right here between the two sea lions, there's a little bit of like spider webs. Now that just, you can either just rub that off with your finger or if you have a heat gun you can hit that. But that's not real bad. It's, uh, I would say for this filament, 172 worked out perfectly for it. Um, if I want to play with retractions, I could probably get rid of that completely. But for the most part, that is not bad at all. But anyway, that's going to do it for this. I just wanted to kind of do an overview, show how I go about finding the temperature. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, the package says, you know, 175 to 250. The thing is, the Me Creator 2, this particular model here, runs a little bit hot, I believe. I don't have any way of really testing that. But I found that a lot of times the filaments that uh, that I use, I'm having to run them at a lower temperature than what it says on the package. And so, you know, depending on printer, depending on the filament, you may have to adjust your temperature. And this is a good way of testing it to find out. One little side note. If you're pressing the, the filament through the extruder and you feel a lot of resistance, try upping the temperature. Because even if it's oozing out a little bit, if, if the temperature is too low and it's not extruding properly, that can cause you a big problem. It can cause you to have a jam during the print. So if you're feeling a lot of resistance when you're pressing the filament, manually extruding it through your extruder, try turning up the temperature and see if it flows a little bit easier. And if it does, give that a shot. Anyway, that's going to do it. I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, so that's going to do it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too, that way you'll get notified when the video comes out. If you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page. You can support the channel from there. And if you'd like to watch one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you'll love them. Yeah, I think you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.